In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most locked down coverage defenses in Madden 23. It's going to be out of the 46 playbook, and we're going to be taking a look at a defense out of the 3-3 Cub formation. Now, if you want to get my entire Nickel 3-3 Cub defensive ebook, make sure that you join the Patreon. This uh, link is going to be in the description below. For just 10 bucks, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, and I guarantee you that it's going to make you a better player. There are principles in the Patreon that you can actually apply Madden to Madden, formation to formation, scheme to scheme. And uh, just by being a member, I guarantee you that if you study the principles in the ebooks, you're going to become a better Madden player. Uh, so if you want to check that out, the link is down in the description. What I wanted to talk today about is this uh, tight slots offense. I think that tight slots is really, really good, but I want to show you a really good defense uh, for tight slots or really just tight in general. Uh, and just talk about a couple of the things that we're seeing uh, just in terms of coming out of the tournament, some things you need to be aware of uh, with the defensive meta and how 3-3 Cub all kind of plays a part of that. Uh, Henry was running 3-3 Cub. Henry's kind of widely regarded as one of the best defenses, play, defensive players uh, in the game. And uh, one of the things is this coverage defense I'm going to show you is actually a really good coverage defense out of the nickel 3-3 Cub. So we're in the nickel 3-3 formation here. We're going to come out in this. We're going to put our zone coverage on match. That's the only coaching adjustment you really need to make. And then for packages, what you're going to do here is you're going to come out and you're going to basically kind of sub out and sub back in your starters. And what this is going to do is it's going to ensure that whenever we change packages, you know, you're not going to, you know, your players won't be out of position uh, or anything like that. So as you can see here, just kind of going through and changing some things. And then you're going to go to the safety uh, nickelback package. So you see here the safety nickelback package. You want to make sure that your actual safeties that you need are already in. And uh, we're going to just basically audible into the mic blitz zero, just like this. All we're going to do here is we're going to take these linebackers and we're going to man them up on whoever the safeties were. So for example, on tight slots, we're going to man the linebacker up on the left on the running back. We're going to man the linebacker on the right up onto the tight end. And then what I like to do is you're going to notice that you have different adjustments for your safeties. So we just want to put both of those safeties in outside thirds to their corresponding sides. And then I personally actually really like to go ahead and shade um, either shade inside or shade outside, however you want to. Uh, but what you're going to notice is some of these really good plays like flood and stuff like that. You're actually going to take away a lot of the routes, as you can see right there. And you're also going to get really good sheds in the nickel 3-3 formation. Now, to get these really good sheds, one of the things you want to do is you want to make sure that your user is actually going ahead and blitzing. Therefore, you are blitzing four people kind of in the game's eyes. And as you can see, again, you're just lurking in the middle of the field. It's going to be hard to basically beat this defense. This is a great kind of lockdown coverage defense that you can go to against tight. You can also go to this against bunch in a lot of ways. You can go to, you can go to this lockdown coverage defense really against anything. If they run the mesh post concept, this is one of the better concepts in the game right now. Maybe do some kind of slant post action like this. You're going to notice here that by and large, yeah, you might get beat to the flat a little bit, but stuff like that right there is going to get taken away, um, you know, with your man coverage. Now, obviously, you want to have abilities tied to this. I do think you need inside shade to run man coverage effectively. I also think that it's really helpful to have some KO abilities uh, if you can get those on your main corners. And then our safeties, because we're playing man coverage and our safeties are primarily going to be playing zone coverage, we're going to go ahead and, you know, make sure that we have some deep out zone knock knockouts um, to be able to you know play good good coverage with that as well these knockouts especially these deep out zone knockouts are super helpful for defending things like corner routes or any kind of flooding combination that your opponent might be running now the beauty of this is you also want to mix in uh, some pressure so all you have to do to get pressure is you just need to stand in this a gap opposite the running back and you're going to see that you're going to get really fast pressure up the middle of the defense. Oftentimes, it's going to come from one of the linebackers. Uh, literally, all you have to do is just stand in the A-gap, and you're going to get some kind of pressure with this, especially if you're sending five people at the quarterback. So when you combine the pressure um, and the coverage of piece of all of this, you're going to have a really locked down uh, defense in a lot of ways. And the other I think benefit of this is it's actually a fairly safe coverage. It's hard to beat this coverage uh, over the top 
really at all. They're going to have to check it down, um, and you get such good sheds in this defense that it's going to be difficult to even do that. Now, if you want to get my entire 46 defensive ebook where we go over all the formations in there, teach you how to run complete defensive schemes out of nickel 3-3, nickel over, 3-3 cub, dollar, uh, dime defense, all that stuff, make sure that you get in the Patreon. The link is down below. $10 gets you access to everything, all the updates, all the ebooks, everything included with that. So for just $10, you can become a member. Head down to the description below and uh, go check out the Patreon.